All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Pretty excited to be here because I got a new toy, new tech. Love new toy, love new tech. So obviously you can tell from the thumbnail that this is the Zoom F6. Give you a short story. So I ordered this just about a year ago when it was on pre-order and then they had a physical problem with the unit. So they basically said, well, they're not gonna be delivered in July, they're gonna be delivered in October. So I canceled my order and ordered the Mix Pre Mark II, which came out before the Zoom F6 came out. But now, after I've been playing with the Mix Pre Mark II, which is, by the way, which is a great recorder, the Zoom F6 does some things that the Mix Pre doesn't. So for instance, it's a lot cheaper per XLR input. I got six instead of three. I don't have to pay for the amb ambionic ambisonics plugin dang that's hard for me to say which is a 49 dollars plugin for the mix pre i don't have to pay for mix assist plugin which is 99 dollars on the mix pre because all that comes built into the zoom f6 now i've seen the videos and all that other stuff that says the mix pre is my implementation is better but all around this is definitely a better price bargain on top of that the power that this takes compared to the Mix Pre 3 Series 2 and the Mix Pre 3 Series 1 are very power hungry. And it, it just drives me crazy that you always gotta have, have it plugged in. So this has three power options. And it seems to me that the power options are better for the Zoom F6 and it lasts longer. So before I open the box, I had to put some stuff together so I can get this set up. So first thing I got is a battery bank with a USB to USB cable. Now this doesn't have to be a special power bank or battery bank like PD or QC, which is um, power delivery or quick charge or fast charge. Doesn't, doesn't need any of that. Any old battery bank will do as long as it can put out five volts and one amp, which just about 99% of them can. So great option. The other thing I got is an MPF battery for a third or second power option. Sorry, not third power option. For a second power option. And I'm going to go through these and hook them all up and disconnect them and see if it automatically switches over and all that good stuff. So that's why I have all this stuff. And of course, I have a set of four nickel metal hydride batteries because that's the best things to use if you want um, recordings to last longer. And these last longer and they're rechargeable. They're not alkalines or lithiums that you throw away and they're not rechargeable lithiums. So nickel metal hydride. So I'm gonna try with this with all three power settings or three power options. So I'm gonna try the batteries, the power bank and the MPF battery. On top of that, I got an SD card, UHS one or two. This one has, happens to be 64 gigabytes from ProGrade. Um, like these cards a lot, Never had any problems with them. They've never failed or let me down. So I like these a lot as far as audio and video and photography. These have always worked and I've never had any problems. And lastly, I got the Zoom BT1A adapter, BTA1, sorry, I got that backwards, which is the Bluetooth adapter that, believe it or not, I bought this a year ago when I pre-ordered it. It's been sitting on my shelf since and I forgot to return it. So. We're gonna include this too, because I wanna download the F6 control app and try this over Bluetooth from my iPad or iPhone or something like that. So very cool. So that's all the stuff that we have to start off this unboxing. So let me go ahead and unbox this thing and get started. All right, everybody, so here's the box of the Zoom F6, very cool. So let's do a quick thumbnail. I know, stupid, but eh, I'll probably change it later, but eh, we'll, we'll check it out anyways. So here is the Zoom F6 multi-track field recorder. Very cool, so let's open this thing up. Whoa, okay, that kind of flew off there. And this one's actually pretty easy to open. So it does come with four regular alkaline batteries that I'm definitely not gonna use. And it comes in a little K 
case or bag. You know, just, yeah, very cool. Wow, this thing is a lot smaller than I thought it was. Wow, this is a lot smaller than I thought it was. I mean, basically a hand, smaller than a hand, compared to the Mix Pre 3 Mark II. Wow, this thing is very cool, actually. Huh, cool, okay. And there should be a bracket in here somewhere, too. And there is the mounting bracket for the camera, which you put on top here with the four screws. And then you put your screw in your camera into the quarter inch 20 thread. So very cool. Let me get this hooked up and uh, we'll go from there. You know, I'll put in all three power options. Man, I love this thing already. So very cool. I love this stuff. By the way, all this was purchased with my own money. This is not sponsored or given to me in any form or fashion. So let me just throw that out there and uh, let me get this hooked up, man. Can't wait. Just love this type of tech stuff. Just gets me all excited. So thank you and stand by. All right, everybody. So now that we're back here with the Zoom F6, the first thing we're going to do is stick in the little Bluetooth adapter, the Zoom BTA1. So let's turn this on the side. And it goes right here. And we'll go ahead, take off the little plastic or rubber cover and stick in the Bluetooth adapter. The next thing we're gonna do is go over here. Oh, sorry about that. And we're gonna stick in an SD card. Now, if you don't know, it, it looks like it's gonna go in upside down, but that's the way it goes in. It goes in with the gold contacts up. And then you just push it down, close the door. All right, while we have it on that side, let's go ahead and put in an MPF battery. And then the next thing we're gonna do is undo this little thumb screw and take out the little battery sled. and stick in our four AA nickel, nickel metal hydride batteries. All right, and uh, as you can see, these, con these, these contacts go down onto the contacts of the Zoom F6. So let's go ahead and stick this in, push it down, and then we'll tighten up this thumb screw. All right. And last but not least, I'm gonna plug in some USB-C power. Which we just did. And then let me turn this so you can see it. Oops. We're gonna turn it on here on the power button. I don't wanna put it all the way down because I, I should have turned it on before I put the USB-C cable in. So let's go ahead and turn it on. All right, now that we're turning on, it does say version 1.5.0, but we're gonna go ahead and check all that stuff. So now that we're booted up for the first time, there's definitely some things we wanna check. So let's go over here to the menu, and then we're gonna scroll down here to the system and check a few things. Bluetooth. Now, if we want to use F6 control, we can go ahead and turn this on and connect. So make sure you do that if you're going to use F6 control, which I highly recommend. All right, let's go down here to settings. Let's check our date and time. We definitely want to do that as well. And I'm going to change my date and time to year, year, month, day, because it's easier to sort chronologically. And we're gonna check the time and day, or date and time and day, time and date, whatever you wanna call it. And I did set this earlier when I screwed up one of my shots. So 
but when you first turn it on, you definitely need to set this. So it is set correctly. All right, for our power source, we wanna check that as well. Right now we're on the USB, and for the A's we have some nickel metal hydride, and we have that selected, so that's another thing we wanna check. For power savings, I'm gonna go ahead and turn everything off, because you know between the different power options and this thing being very good with power, I'm not gonna turn that on. And we can look at the display if you want. And the time on the display. Yep, we want recording and time lapsed. So those were the big things to basically look at. We also wanna check the firmware version. We're at 1.5.0, which is good. And one of the last things we wanna check is our SD card. And we wanna go ahead and format this and make sure that it's good. All right, that's all done. So let's turn this off and uh, head on back, thanks. All right, everybody, one thing I did want you to notice is what happens when we disconnect the USB battery. And if you notice the green battery indicator in the top right, so let's go ahead and unhook the USB and see what happens. All right, if you notice the NPF battery kicked in, which is pretty cool. So the next thing I want to do is take off the NPF battery and see if the internal batteries kick in. So stand by. All right, there's the NPF battery out. And you can definitely see that it kicked into the internal nickel metal hydride AA battery. So very cool. I just wanted to make sure, you know, this worked. So if I'm shooting and I run out of batteries, you know, this is pretty cool. I got like backup to a backup to a backup. So very cool. This is one of the reasons why I really like the Zoom F6. So uh, stand by and let me get on out of this. Thanks. All right, everybody. So hopefully you enjoyed this look at the quick look at the Zoom F6 field recorder. I love this thing already. Um, I'm going to compare it to the Mix Pre 3 Series 2 or Mark 2 down the road here. But I just, you know, my initial thing was to get this unbox and set up. And uh, man, I just can't wait to start using this. I just love this kind of stuff. So please be safe out there. Social distancing, you know, all that good stuff. You know, you want to stay healthy or, you know, and get through this pandemic like everybody else. So thank you very much for watching and for listening. I greatly appreciate it. Have a great day or night, everybody. Happy shooting. Thank you. Bye.